All right, what's going on YouTube? Hammer56 here, or Hamzy. And before we get into this, I uploaded a video yesterday, kind of wasn't up to standards, and there was a little bit of an editing issue with it, so I took it down, so if you saw it, I'm sorry. Also, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It's a 55 kill game with the AK-74U on Dome. Uh, dropped two VTOLs, but I got killed one kill away from my gunship twice, which is bullshit, but... Uh, good gameplay in my opinion, so yeah, enjoy that. But we have something very special to talk about today, all right? Now, I'm sure all of you remember the cop, okay? Megan Hall, all right? I made a video about her at least a month ago, all right? So all this bullshit is old news. I'm not going to go into what all she did. If you want to see that, a uh, link to that video will be in the description if you want to get all caught up. But she is a trying to capitalize on clout and milk it as much as possible. Or we just have another classic example of how easy these females got it, man. Seriously. So I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see this. Ex-Tennessee cop at the corner of sex romp scandal claims she was sexually groomed in new lawsuit. Okay, so we have a few clips to go over. But so basically what she's doing is she's filing a lawsuit against her department and claiming that she was groomed for sexual exploitation. Checkmate, boys. Checkmate. So with all of this information, okay, we don't need to look at anything else. None of these videos, none of that shit. With this information alone, we know that most likely because females just have it so easy that she's definitely probably going to get a settlement. This is just doesn't have to be even said realistically. Here's what realistically happened. Okay, before we even start looking at these different clips, which a lot of them are from like news channels and stuff like that. She has buku stupid affairs on her husband when she ain't even bad. It's not like she's hot. She has buku affairs, realizes, oh shit, I'm fucked. I'm going to claim rape. What any reasonable female would do in 2023. I mean, realistically, if I was in her situation, fuck, man, fuck. I'd probably do the same thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I really would. I don't know. I mean, that's the easy scapegoat, obviously, right? I mean, and it's not like she's gonna have a hard time getting this through. You know what I'm saying? But we're talking five different other cops, man. Five other cops that she's fucking while she's married to the son of a pastor. And all of them are sexually grooming this. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Let, let Get real, bro. No way. Well, a federal lawsuit targets the city of Laverne in the wake of a police department sex scandal. Megan Hall was the only female among the five officers fired and then became the target of nationwide ridicule. Tonight, Hall's lawyer tells News Channel 5's Nick Barris what happened was inexcusable. And now they're suing over what they call a hostile, sexually charged work environment that victimized a rookie officer. Okay, let's stop the video right there. No shit, it was inexcusable. We just went over this. There is no fucking doubt that this is inexcusable. On her part, no shit. Megan Hall was one of five officers, along with the Laverne police chief, fired last month for allegations of sexual misconduct on the job. But it was Hall, the only female, and just into her second year on the force, who became the face of the sexual scandal. These predators starting from day one, worked to break down her psychological barriers and convince her to engage in sexual activity that she didn't want. Predators, yo? Predators? Are you fucking kidding me? You're telling me five dudes. Maybe it was four. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All these dudes are all predators. No. No way. And not only that, out of all the females, this this is your prey for
for these so-called predators? Bullshit! Dude, you're joking, man. And the thing is, the news, this news channel, is reporting this as if it's just fact. And this fucking bum of a lawyer she's got is obviously like, bro, this is about to make me money. Because if any point the female claims rape, game over. These four male cops, five, they're fucked, yo. They're fucked. So, get a load of the rest of this. The lawsuit alleges the supervisors, quote, groomed Hall for sexual exploitation. Megan wasn't looked at like a rookie cop to be trained and promoted. She was looked at as a piece of meat to be sexualized and exploited. The lawsuit stems from a police department scandal involving sexual misconduct both on and away from the job involving officers. There are no criminal charges. A piece of meat. For I mean, this lawyer, he knows what he's doing. I mean, be real. This lawyer does know what he's doing. That that word choice, I, I like that a lot. That choice of words is 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 real good. I actually do like that a lot. That choice of words is 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 good. It's it's really good. I like that. But like I said, bro, nobody's bro, nobody's looking at this chick like that, dog. Come on, man. There are going to be those who say these are consenting adults, and she's trying to place the blame elsewhere. Well, yeah, it's really easy to think that whenever you don't understand the full story. Clark says Hall said no on several occasions, but her supervisors kept pushing until she gave in. Racked by depression to the point of considering suicide, the lawsuit says when Hall tried to end the sexual conduct, threats were made against her. Oh my God. Now they're pulling the whole so depressed she's about to kill herself card. And I just felt like I had to give in. Dude, what? And not only that, they're talking about how she eventually had to give in. If you get convinced to do something and then you consent, this sounds like she was just, she consented. That's exactly what they're saying. So I don't, honestly, I don't really even understand what case that would be, to be honest with you. It's not a rape charge because she consented. They also mentioned that, but at the same time, she's pretty much acting like she got raped. So, I don't really know, to be honest with you. But either way, like we've said a million times at this point, even just in this video, she will end up probably winning because of the fact that she's a female and they just have it way too easy. I'm not gonna lie, man. She is clapping the fuck back, yo. She's clapping back hard, man. I'm not gonna lie. We still got a, like, a good little minute and a half worth of video left to cover, so let's just get on with this. Thanks, Nick. By the way, you saw Megan Hall sitting there with her attorney while he spoke, but she talked as well about the environment on the job at the Laverne PD. He constantly made sexual comments towards me, making unwanted physical contact towards me in front of others. Yeah, Hall talked at length with Nick. You can watch for that exclusive interview on News Channel 5 this coming Wednesday. Bro, once again, nobody is making sexual remarks towards this chick, bro. Nobody in their right fucking mind, bro. There is no point to watch this exclusive interview at all, honestly. Even the news reporter was like, well, some people are going to be saying this. Yeah, no shit. Bro, he's tracking she's bullshitting. We're talking about like a month and a half after this all came out. After this, honestly, everyone had forgotten about it, okay? We're talking a month and a half later. She's like, dude, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I'm claiming rape. That's crazy, yo. That's crazy. And and notice how her husband isn't anywhere to be seen in these videos. Now, I, what that particularly means, I don't know. But we do know that he is nowhere to be seen. They haven't mentioned him at all. Shit, maybe it was his idea. Maybe that shit was his idea. Who fucking knows, man? Because he definitely sees the potential for a fucking bag. A fat come up right there, dude. A fat ass come up, man. I think we all didn't talk about this happening, but we all easily could have seen this coming. Realistically. But the fact that a news station is reporting on it and it's this serious is crazy because she's suing the department and getting the actual city involved. So this is a pretty serious case. Hopefully, whoever the jury or, or a judge, whoever um, is in charge of this makes the right decision. I mean, I guess this could have happened. I don't see it being likely, though, to be honest with you. I mean, let's let's be real here. 
like we said, she goes under fire, life's going to shit, she's literally a fucking joke on the internet, and then out of nowhere, just randomly, after it's all said and done and people have forgotten about it, wait, I got raped? Yeah, bullshit. And then, it's crazy because she's gonna go through with this whole thing, and she might just win, she probably will, simply because she's a female, females just have it way too easy, and she's gonna ruin these dudes' lives, man. She's going to ruin these dudes' lives because of the fact that she fucked up and can't accept the consequences. Bro, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That's just a fact of life. But I think we can all agree that this bitch is tripping balls and a half. And yeah, like I said, hopefully they make the right decision with it. And I mean, if if it comes to find out 100% sure that she is lying... Hopefully she gets fucked over, hopefully, but we know that won't happen because who gives a fuck about a false rape accusation? Well, their lives will already be ruined anyway. Those guys' lives will already be ruined. I mean, as if she hasn't already ruined her husband's life. And then those dudes are already fired. They already lost their job. And you know they can't get fired at a cop any as a cop anywhere else. You know what I mean? Because of this whole scandal. And so now she's really going to fuck them over, man. I, I will probably make a video on it if anything else comes out, but I don't know. This is a really fucking stupid situation, and I think everyone can mutually agree that this bitch is fucking retarded. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and leave me your opinion in the comments, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. You got a secret, like you victorious I'm back on a Tuesday and fuck it feels glorious I'm on the back beat, sipping in the back seat, Listening to NSYNC, no, not backstreet Yes, I can get it on my mind, my own oh mind While I'm waving out the window like bye 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 Yeah, that bitch, yeah she a bad bitch I saw her texting earlier